Yes, Sam Reinhart is a $10 million player. He's a $10 plus million dollar player. Whoa, uh, $10 million for Sam Reinhart. You are going to have to convince me on that one. All right, let's get into it. And you have to start with the fact that it's a very unique platform year for Sam Reinhart, who scores 57 goals, has 94 points. It's not every year that we see someone who had that many goals go all the way down to the wire on July 1st, making their decision on an extension where he currently plays or hitting the open market. Why do you think it is taking so long for a decision to be made? Well, let me just kind of, let me solve this riddle for you. Sam Reinhardt had 57 goals this year. Career high in goals and points. He had 94 points. His highest goal total in a season before this year was 33. Now, to be fair to him, in his three years with the Florida Panthers, he scored 31-plus goals each season. But Reinhardt is not a perennial 50-goal scorer. This year is an outlier when you look at the statistical data in seasons prior. That is why I would say there has been a little bit of hesitance from the Florida Panthers on inking an exact number. And that leads me to believe that there's going to be two different markets for Sam Reinhart. There's going to be the Florida market and the rest of the NHL market. The Florida market is going to have to be lower based on their tax implications, what they have to do as far as signing other players, plus the tax situation there and the lifestyle that comes with playing for the Florida Panthers. There's a lot to be desired about that. Okay, yeah, and I understand that, yes, the lifestyle down in Florida is great. Yes, the tax exemption. Uh, but it's also a Stanley Cup winning team that has been extremely good the last two seasons, even seasons prior to this, where they have finally figured out how to win the big game. Why would you not want to stay in Florida? Nice weather, great hockey team, the potential to go back-to-back. -back. It's not just taxes and the beach life. There's also a great product on the ice as well. And Florida does have some question marks going forward with their contracts. Some players will go away. But if you can retain a guy like Sam Reinhart, you could try to go back to back here. As far as opening things up to the rest of the NHL, that's where it's going to have to be 10 plus. And you have to look at a contract comparable in William Nylander. This is a player that's drafted the same year as Sam Reinhart. Their numbers have been comparable throughout the course of their careers. And William Nylander might be more of a dynamic player, but Sam Reinhardt's defensive impacts this year were among the best in the NHL. Okay, so Sam Reinhardt, I, I just... In the William Nylander comparison, I understand same draft class, uh, relatively close in points, but I also want to point this out. Reinhardt has played 93 more games than Nylander, and only has 10 more points. Now, I'm not saying Reinhardt's not a great player in his own right. But if you're saying offensively, Nylander, who is a back-to-back 40-goal -back scorer, he's got far higher upside. And just because the Maple Leafs pay a guy $11.5 million doesn't mean the Panthers should do the same. Again, I'm not trying to knock this like Reinhardt's not a great player. He's a great player in his own right, but... When I think of a $10 million player, I'm looking at a player that I'm like, okay, this guy can carry a line. Can Reinhardt carry a line? I'm not so sure on that. I think he's an extremely good complimentary piece to have. There's a lot of talent down in Florida. But if you put him in a situation where it's a little bit different, I don't think you see the same numbers. I'm thinking you're looking at like a 60 to 70 point score, which is still a very good NHLer. But it's not 57 goals good. Now, William Nylander signs an extension with the Toronto Maple Leafs, upwards of $11 million. So right there, you would think that Sam Reinhardt absolutely does have to qualify to be a 10 plus million dollar player. There's no doubt about that. It's going to be very interesting to see how things shake out for Sam Reinhardt. But if you're another team that's calling, you have to blow Florida's offer out of the water because it's going to be competitive for sure. If you want to find a way to steal Sam Reinhardt away, it better be 10 plus and maybe closer to that William Nylander 11 plus million dollar deal. Now, I'm not suggesting that he gets the same as William Nylander, but the open market, it would lead you to believe that there has to be teams that are willing to go 10 plus million. And I, I understand the rationale there. Maybe you do have a team throw him the Brinks truck. Just back up that Brinks truck, give him a bucket load of money. 
I do think it would be a, a mistake. I think Reinhardt, ideally for me, and you can agree, disagree, I think at most, maybe an $8 million player. He's had some very good point-per-game seasons. He's a very good player in his own right. I'd love to see him on my own team's top six. But when you start handing out these massive contracts, it could age very poorly. And then, yes, the cap is going up, so maybe his cap keeps increasing as time goes on. It looks less terrible. But still, I, I do believe that you need to invest intelligently. Personally, what I think would be best for Reinhardt would be going back to Florida. You're going back to the Panthers where you have been wildly successful. You've had your best years there. And you're playing in a line that brings out the best version of your game. And maybe he could become a perennial 40-goal scorer. But even if he scores 30-plus, is around 60, 70 points, that's a solid contributor. And with the talent they have down in Florida, they could be a contender for a long time. But I'd like to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you believe Sam Reinhardt is a $10 million player? I'd love to know your thoughts. I'm Captain Paul. I'll see you in the next one.